Growing up in the 80s, every hormone-driven teenager at the time had one of two or maybe both posters on their wall in their bedroom. One was of Brooke Shields in a bathing suit and the other one was most probably another legend of the mid-80s, which was the Ford Sierra XR8. Welcome everybody. We are here again at CDS this morning and we're here with Tiger. How's it Tiger? How are you? How's it Krinesh? How's it? And today we're talking about another very special Ford in the CDS stable. Um, Ford Sierra XR8, known as the animal or known as the beast. So Tiger, how are you doing? Very well, thanks. Firstly, I'd like to thank all the, um, the viewers for the positive feedbacks, the comments, the phone calls on our previous video. Uh, it really, really, really was appreciated. Um, guys, sorry yeah. Tiger, I, yeah. need to, I need to cut in there. Guys, please stay tuned to the end of this video for a very, very special and exciting announcement. This is great. So, getting back to this beauty, this is our 84 XR8. This one is uh, very special to South Africa as well. Uh, same as the 3 litre IRS. Uh, this was a limited edition with special bits that Ford had put into it to make it stand out and to make it competitive in its time. This one is a 5 litre V8 with a 5 speed uh, manual gearbox, which is obviously a factory fit. There are some small additions we've done to it, but nothing major. But the, the beauty of this car is, firstly, its presence. Um, it, it really will stop a crowd anywhere. Um, the, the performance, the comfort as well, the, these old Fords really, really are good. <laughs> Uh, despite what people may say about them. <laughs> <Yeah? Not me. laughs> the, Watch the oil there. <laughs> We're back there. The, so the XR8 to the XR6, obviously you've got two more cylinders, um, but the special parts are your fender spats, the special rear wing, the biplane wing as it's, as it's known as. So Tiger, back in 1984 or 1985 when these cars were sold, what did they sell for? So the XR8s were uh, around the 27, 27.5, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the beauty part of that is it is actually very well priced compared to its competitors. What way is competitive? In my opinion, its direct competitors would be the BMW 333i, the Alpha GTV 63 liter. Um, which that one was also a proudly South African car and those cars were double if not almost triple the price of this um, so this really makes it uh, at that time a very affordable performance car for the people and some engine specs on this here sourcing of the engine what did Ford so, do th this motor and gearbox is a 5 liter V8 sourced from the Ford Mustangs from the States, um, and they managed to put it into this body. And to get it, I mean, this car accelerates from not to 100 in under seven seconds. In 1984, that was pretty outstanding. And how often do you drive this car? This one, we try to drive it uh, as often, not as often as the IRS, but we, we get it, we get it going, do the school drop off some days. Okay. It's, yeah. Can you adopt me? Huh? Can you adopt me? Yeah. <laughs> you, sure. With the kids of today, with the kids of yeah. today know the value or know the, yeah. how special a car like this is. I mean, if you're doing the, school, the drop off for your son yeah. or, or for your nieces, with, with the other kids in the parking lot, would they know the value? <laughs> never, never, never. Maybe but dads and moms. it is there. Yeah, it is other kids' dads and moms that will come up to me and, and they'll just start talking about the car. Uh, the, the dads or the moms? The dads, the dads, the dads. Let's not get that confused. <laughs> Anything else special about this car that's different from your normal run of the mill XR6s? Yeah, well, the fact that this one is a limited edition, there was only 250 made. Um, again, coming to the rims, these are the 15-inch uh, version of the XR6 rim. Th those were 14, this is the 15-inch. Um, and then it's your body styling, like I said, uh, the spats, the grill, the um, uh, biplane. I must say, the hood scoop, that is not a standard feature, that was added. 
for the high rise manifold. So they are refitted, yeah. So just to get a little bit more power. Look, I we we can know why this is car is called the beast, right? But tell me, how does it handle and how does it behave on the road? So, uh, you know, just like any beast, if you if you take care of it, it'll take care of you. But if you, <laughs> if you yeah, if you show yeah, exactly, if you show it the respect, it, it will give it back to you. But obviously, if if you try to be a hero, this car can be a bit dangerous. Um, so, Tiger, in your opinion, how many of these cars are left on the road? Oh gosh, that that will be hard to tell. Um, Off the top of your head, I would say probably about a hundred. <laughs> Once again, thanks so much for your time and no you problem. It's a pleasure. Know about your beast and your yeah. animal and your very special V8 Ford here, guys. As we spoke about earlier, the special announcement, seventh of November here at CDS, the classic car celebration. That's what it is, classic car celebration. Be sure to get here, celebrating classic cars, not just Fords. Come in, bring the family, bring the friends. It's a day not to be missed. It'll uh, be great to see you guys here and have a look at our beautiful workshop. And you get to see some more of our classic cars. Uh, sorry, Tiger, before we go. Yeah. When I drove in here, I heard you start this car. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, it gave me goosebumps. Yeah, that sound is beautiful. I'll a special favor. Sure. I'll fill the fuel. Can you take me for the drive? <laughs> of course. Okay. It's only a pleasure. Thank Will you guys. do. <laughs> <Thanks soon. laughs>